All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance do we have here today for Gemini, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Gemini, please, Spirit. Tell me about Gemini, my beautiful Geminis. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Gemini, please. Okay, so let's see here. So we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Eight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Under the deck, we have the Lover's card, more Gemini. We have the Sun, Leo, and we have the Nine of Wands. Under the deck, the Six of Wands. So, Gemini, Gemini, I feel like there was a situation in the past that didn't work out. OK, you could have been married to this person. It could have been a very strong soul tie connection. You could have been living with this person. Maybe there was shared finances with this person. Um, and I feel here that either Gemini, someone can't seem to let you go or you can't let somebody go. Like someone here is still kind of stuck on this connection. OK, um, with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, there could be an energy here of somebody trying to energetically bind somebody so that they don't move on to new love, okay? With the Knight of Cups and the Devil card here, I kind of feel an energy of somebody obsessively wanting to come in and apologize or wanting someone to come back around and apologize. Um, with the Lover's card, the Sun, and the Nine of Wands, um, <coughs> Gemini, I really feel an energy here of... <clears throat> Because the traditional lover's card is a man, a woman, and a snake looking over the connection, okay? I feel like every time somebody finds out that someone here is dating someone new or getting serious with someone new, they are very successful in blocking the connection, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me, Gemini. <clears throat> so there's an energy here of... Gemini, if you come to find that as soon as you start dating someone, the connection falls apart. Or, you know, as soon as you start to get serious with somebody, everything just goes awry, like in a really weird way. It's because you might have somebody that is blocking you from moving forward in new love. Gemini, of course, you could be doing this to somebody, okay? But someone here has been successful with this up until now. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Geminis. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the page of swords here, please, for Gemini. The death card in the reverse, scorpionic energy. Tell me about the ten of pentacles in the reverse. Yep, we've got the tower, scorpionic energy. Gemini, with the death card in the reverse, I feel like someone here just doesn't want something to end. They don't want something to end. And if they see you moving towards any form of abundance whatsoever, this person is out to destroy it, period. Okay. Um, tell me about the Eight of Swords for Gemini, the Hermit Virgo energy. I feel like we're dealing with somebody that either is very lonely, um, maybe a little depressed, someone that doesn't seem to go out all that much. <coughs> We're dealing with somebody here that spends a lot of time focused on this, okay? Yep, Ten of Swords here. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands. This is someone here that is thinking that we could have worked it out. We could have had our Ten of Cups. We could have had our Ten of Pentacles. We could have made this work. Instead, with the Ten of Swords, there was a very ugly ending that took place. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in the reverse. The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel like someone is 
okay until the person is going out, dating, having a good time, that's fine. But don't fall in love. You have to remain single. You see what I'm saying? Nine of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Like, someone's in this energy of, I'm okay with seeing you alone. I'm okay with seeing you doing okay alone. But don't fall in love with someone new because I will come in and block it. Tell me about the Knight of Cups here. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Tell me about the Devil card here for Gemini. And the Nine of Cups. Someone here is almost obsessive about wanting the other person to come back and apologize for not working things out. You see what I'm saying? There's an energy of like, we could have had it all. If we would have just worked on this, it would have worked. So if I can't have you, no one is going to have you. And eventually you'll be lonely enough where, you're, where you will come back around and apologize and try to make this work. The Lover's card and the Ace of Swords. The Sun card. And the Six of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about the Nine of Wands and the Unknown. So here's the deal, Gemini. Okay, here's the deal, Gemini. I feel like somebody has been doing this for quite some time. Again, I don't know if it's you. I don't know if somebody has been doing this to you. So you may have find that all your relationships are consistently being sabotaged, like all of them, like all your relationships. They start off like amazing. You think everything's going to be okay. And then before you know it, it all falls apart. I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the Lover's card, someone here is having a little bit of a rude awakening, okay? Because now there seems to be a relationship with a very strong soul tie. And this person is in fact not winning and not succeeding in being able to break up this connection. Um, Gemini, this person doesn't seem to understand what the blockage is here. I feel like this person is doing it either spiritually or energetically, okay? But there's some form of blockage here. Um, with the Lover's card under the deck, the Hierophant, the Justice card, and the Five of Swords with the Devil card, um, I feel that there is a relationship here that has come in now, Gemini, that is a divinely guided soul tie. Okay, and now what's happening is, is that someone is going to experience the karma for all the sabotage that they have caused. Somebody here may have been working black magic, Gemini. And if it's you, I recommend that you stop immediately because it's about to backfire. Okay, it's about to backfire. Two of Pentacles and the High Priestess, I feel like somebody here was playing with fire. They were, you know... Someone here knew that, you know, they were a light worker, that they had spiritual tendencies, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you have a decision to make when you have those type of abilities, okay? You can go light or you can go dark. And someone here allowed um, the obsession or the want or the need to take over, okay? So what's happening here is, is it has been successful for quite some time, and now... And now, um, the person in question that has been under this spiritual attack for quite some time has now met a divinely guided soul tie. And it's not going to be successful this time. Someone here is not going to be able to break up this connection. If anything, um, when they try to break up this connection, that magic is going to backfire and it's going to hurt. Okay? All right, Gemini, I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye, my loves.